the triathlon, though. Here she is. <laughs> so we're walking down to the um, kind of start area where the transition zones are. Ames has got like half an hour this morning just to get in and out of transition, just to sort a few bits and bobs out if you needed to, right? Yeah, it's different this time. Your T1, T2 is in the tent with two separate bags. Nothing under the bike. So I've just got to stick more water bottles on the bike. Yeah. And then uh, pros start at nine. We were told about whether it's wetsuit legal or not at eight. Which is, yeah. And it's just coming up to 7 a.m. So we've got an hour. Nice start at 9.20. 9.20 in the sea. All being well. Yeah. And then you're off out for the day. Well, for a couple of hours and then we're, me, Nigel and Kate are out for a short cafe ride to Santa Ponza, I believe. And then coming back and uh, seeing names, uh, come back on the bike and then watching her run the half marathon. So it's all exciting, it's going to be an amazing day. And where are we going to be parked? We're going to be parked in a bar along <laughs> the seafront as Ames runs past. <laughs> so it's all good it's friends. Throwing M&Ms at me and peanuts. Throwing <laughs> nuts and water. Yeah, I can't eat M&Ms. No. <laughs> <It's only. laughs> So for 7am, it's really warm and beautiful out here. So lovely. Almost to the start area. Nearly there, Ames. So here's the finish area. Do your normal thing. I'm reminiscing, right? Yeah. About Duncan's wetsuit vlog. Do you remember when Duncan did his wetsuit vlog? And he put his wetsuit on. Oh, vaguely, yeah. And it, and he did it so elegantly. Yeah. Hopped up and down, hooked himself inside it. Right? <laughs> I have currently got one foot in the leg of land of armor. <laughs>
athletes now to line up here at the start line. We have a lot of space for you and we will go through the swim course one more time. Wir werden also noch mal gemeinsam jetzt die Schwimmstrecke besprechen. Tres minutos para la salida, three minutes to the start. Voy a hacer... second. Honestly, I don't know how she does it. She's an absolute legend. Hey, what a venue though. This sea is so lovely and warm. Keep going. Go on, Amy. Take your time. Ames, have something to eat on the bike. No. You're doing brilliant. 
You're amazing, keep going. Ames, you're doing it. Do you want some Pepsi? Well done. Keep going. Go on, Ames. You got this. Go on. Brilliant job, Amy. Go on. You've got this. So she's on lap two of four, I think. She, yeah, she's really in the zone. She's doing it, bless her. Go on, Ames. Brilliant. You're doing brilliant. Your bike was faster than you thought. Come on, Amy, you've done it. Woo! Next Woo! heavy pace approaching. Let's see how the finish off. Emmy, welcome to the finish line. This yes! is your pass. This is your finish your challenge, Baguera. <laughs> Friends, this is the last night of our holiday here in Mallorca. We've had an amazing time. Have you enjoyed yourselves, yes. gang? Oh, yes. It's been immense, Spot hasn't it? On. Yes, definitely. Spot on. And you were pleased with your triathlon? Yes. Seven hours, 15? Something like that. Overall, which is immense. In, in the heat. In that heat, yeah. And I had and Coach Cox. Coach Cox. And we had a couple of amazing bike rides and kate was amazing kate and kate nigel amazing and me. yeah so overall it has been amazing we are flying home no you guys have made the holiday you have. and we are flying home tomorrow so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching hit like hit subscribe and i will see you soon in another vlog it's bye from this lot bye bye, bye. Right, okay, this is like, this is embarrassing because I'm not good at this stuff, but I wanted to have a little bit in the vlog of me saying thank you to Kate and Nige, uh, specifically. Um, without my coach Cox and uh, support everything, Kate, I couldn't have done as well as I did without Kate and Nige. We went out in all sorts of weathers, masses of wind, uh, cycling about on the flat-ish lands of Yorkshire um, and it was just incredible. They are incredible people. They are so strong on those bikes and positive and their attitude towards me and my training was just like immense. Uh, they're the best friends I could have ever, like I couldn't even wish for friends um, as awesome as they are and Coach Cox is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant and uh, I just wanted to say thank you. So off the back of that, we're all going back to uh, Mallorca next year. I'm doing the 70.3 again. I came fifth in my age group this time, uh, which meant that I qualified for the championships in Slovakia for May 2024. So I'm absolutely beside myself excited. I can't, I can't begin to tell you. And then uh, also in Mallorca, we're going to enter a relay team. So. Duncan the fish uh, McNutt is going to be doing the swim and then hopefully Mark Smith, if I can twist his arm enough, 
is going to do the bike leg and then Mark is going to run the half marathon. Um, so yeah, so Mjorka was amazing. So thank you to everyone that supported me. Um, Duncan, one of those people, just so many people. Uh, my brother, like, oh my God, it's amazing. So yeah, enough of my waffle. Um, hopefully we'll put the dates up so that you can see when we're back in Mallorca and if anybody wants to come and join us, like we met up with the wheelers, wheelers at large. So uh, we'll put those dates up and if anyone wants to join us out in Mallorca for uh, 70.3 and lots of sitting in a bar looking at the sea, you're more than welcome. So yeah, brilliant. Thanks uh, FCC for all your support and uh, all of your awesome comments. I think we had like well over 100 in the end, mental. Um, so yeah, thank you. It's bye-bye from Maisie. Hold on. Boom.